Mr. Pyle, no what? candy right now. What? It's, you have a video to record. Come on. It's just, just one. Mm-mm. Uh, fine. Okay. That's third grade. All right, been a minute since I've seen you guys. We're going to get right into it. Today we're not singing. Today we're talking more about music history. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm going to cover three of the biggest names in classical music. The classical period is what we talked about last time from the year 1750 to 1820. We're going to talk about three composers, and at the end of the video, your assignment this time is you're going to find one song from each composer, listen to it, and then in dojo, you're going to tell me the name of the song. Okay? Nice and easy. So last time, like I said, is the classical era. All the music that was produced between 1750 and 1820. We're going to talk about three of the biggest composers. The first one is the one we actually mentioned last time, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now, he lived between the years 1756 and 1791, a long time ago, more than 200 years ago. Now, a couple things about him, I actually had to write all this down. Mozart was a musical prodigy. He was fluent in performing instruments as early as five years old. The guy was basically born with a violin in his hand. On top of that, he wrote a lot of music too. 41 symphonies. Now, a symphony is what happens when you take a bunch of instruments and put them together. Specifically, a symphony will have brass instruments, woodwind instruments, percussion instruments, and sometimes voices if they're feeling fancy, all playing at the same time. It's a huge affair. So Mozart wrote pieces for symphonies 41 times. It's quite a bit. Now, out of all the three composers we're discussing today, Mozart is considered to be the greatest classical musician of all time. Now, of course, this is up for debate. It all depends on who you ask. Some people, in fact, would tell you they don't think Mozart was the greatest classical composer. They would say the greatest classical composer was Beethoven. Now Beethoven is actually one of the three B's. Some musicians consider the three B's to be the greatest composers of uh, music history. Beethoven, Bach, and Brahms. You'll learn about Bach and Brahms some at a later day. On to Beethoven though. Lived between 1770 and 1827. So he came after Mozart and a lot of what he did was influenced by Mozart. And the third composer we're going to talk about after this, who actually knew Mozart and Beethoven. Now, Beethoven only wrote nine symphonies. Doesn't seem like much compared to Mozart's 41, but Beethoven's symphonies are far more well known. On top of that, he only compo he composed a lot of other things. He only composed one opera named Fidelio. And on top of that, this is the coolest thing about Beethoven. By the time he was almost, uh, by the time he almost passed, he was completely deaf. Couldn't hear a thing. But he still wrote music. Because his understanding of music was so perfect that he didn't need to hear what he was writing to know what it sounded like anymore. Pretty impactful. Now, the third composer we're going to talk about is Franz Joseph Haydn. Franz Joseph Haydn lived between 1732 and 1809. You'll notice he occurred about between Mozart and Beethoven, which is pretty important, and here's why. Haydn was the mentor to Mozart, and he was a tutor for Beethoven. He taught both of them. So if you were to listen to all three of their music, you'll notice Mozart and Beethoven's music sounds a little bit like Haydn's, because he taught them. Now, Haydn was a prolific composer. That means he composed a lot of pieces. Just some of them include 107 symphonies, I had to write this though, 107 symphonies, 83 quartets, 45 piano trios, and that's just the start. He's also known as the father of the symphony. A lot of people credit him as being the one who really brought symphony into the forefront when it came to music. He's also considered to be the father of the string quartet. 
Now the string quartet, uh, we all know what a violin is. I know I've brought it up before. A string quartet is a piece of music that uses a violin, a viola, a cello, and a double bass, all at the same time. What was the other thing? No, no, that's all I have for you. So, those are the only three composers we're talking about today. What I want you to do is you're going to go online and find a song from Beethoven, Haydn, and Mozart. Listen to the piece of music, then go into Dojo and tell me the pieces you listen to for all three of them. Now, a bit of news at the end of this video. This is normally the part where I would say, I will see you all next time. The thing is, because of our posting schedule, this is the last video you guys are getting from me until we see each other again in the fall. Don't worry about the screaming. That's, that's my daughter watching Frozen 2, and that's the part where Olaf is losing his mind. So, since I don't see you guys until we come <laughs> back, instead of saying, I'll see you next time, I'll just say, I'll see y'all when we get back in the fall.